Experience tranquility. Welcome, everyone, to a very spooky edition of the Iris Podcast. I am Spook Free Yeti. Joining me <laughs> is Undead PC. And then we have Specs dressed as a hipster. I'm sorry, a lumberjack. <laughs> we have Thuggington. Ooh. And then, mm. last but not least, is a person from Quebec. Oh. The scariest thing of them all there. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> pretty pretty scary actually. welcome everyone to the iris podcast uh thanks for joining us today uh we have a very loaded show so we're going to be jumping into it fairly quick here today uh we're having a little bit of fun uh and i uh, hope you guys all have fun too uh but we have again like i said a loaded cast today so we're going to hop right in uh first and foremost going with feature match from this week only had one feature match unfortunately some unforeseen circumstances came up therefore we only had one and that was Illusion taking on Careless Pandas. A heck of a match. What do you think, Thug? <clears throat> I think I had to cough. Um, Illusion Careless Pandas was uh, probably an aneurysm and a ulcer formed for Nick. I'm sorry, Nick. Um, sorry, bud. Uh, Careless Pandas almost pulled the reverse sweep there. The first two maps were, were all, all Illusion all the time. They two out on, on control. Memo Rex really showing up and, and filling in for the boys when they needed him to. He showed up really big on that map. Um, going to map two, just the one uh Black Ninja absolutely popped off on, on Farah. Um, it's incredible to watch. Watch back to VOD. He did a fantastic job. But then the comeback happened. There's a little hybrid map called uh, Numbani. I don't know if you heard of it. Um, Nick, you've heard of it. Nebby, uh, absolutely throttled that team they ran a classic pirate ship and there was nothing that illusion could do about it nick and i talked about it right before this too and mentioning we knew what to do it's just we couldn't do it kill the bastion forehead but sometimes it's it's easier said than done um going to the <coughs> damn it going to the escorts when it got a little closer and that's what i think illusion uh i think they might have woke the sleeping giant with Dumbani. they got rattled uh, they shook him up a little bit, and an illusion comes back, pulls it off, uh, going to Busan, going to the last ma- last point of Busan, ninety nine ninety nine. It can't get any closer than that. But big win for Illusion that time. They needed that win to keep that that uh, top four seed there. So good job, big wins. And that's the only feature match because there's a little uh, situation that has been resolved. So there's no uh, ski free Yeti is bad. That's true. Uh, that's not wrong. Uh, and there was a little bit of a a, a slight uh, kerfuffle in the community. You may have saw a couple posts by me's uh, by me's by me um, regarding spare change. And Yeti has a little thought on that as well. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, the season three uh, grinder continues, it seems. Um, and spare change has elected to fold. Uh, this is a textbook case of a few people try to take advantage of a group of people for their own personal gain. It's a shame that we had to see it happen. And uh, yeah, we we hate to see that, but uh, Mm -hmm. big F's for spare change. Uh, One trick, uh, Captain America uh, and um, I'm forgetting the other one. Um, I believe it was uh, Ricard's or something like that. Uh, RCA Rodriguez or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, They were all doing it right. And unfortunately, a few people decided to take advantage of them. And uh, 
that's just an absolute shame. So F's in the chat for spare change. We hate to see them go. F's, big F's, boys. Um, I mean, for, for your own personal gain, just seems weird. There's like, there's this tournament isn't for anything. No, that's I mean, what do you, what do you get just out of it? Yeah, I don't know what they no get price. out of it. It's just it blows my mind that people decided that was a good idea. But you know, people suck, and that's just kind of how it is sometimes. So uh, it's unfortunate. You know, it's we hate to see them go, but we understand why they're going to. I frankly don't blame them. I'd be heartbroken. Yeah. You know, so um, I get why they left, and I feel terrible about it. So unfortunately, spare change has left us. It means we have another set of buys in the Harmony tier to accompany the overtime buys. We got to catch up the Discord. Yeah, I yeah. know we do. Yeah. We do. Can other teams start folding? No, not please Let's don't. Go. Please don't. Please, please don't. Please don't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, let's get in now to the remainder of the scores for the week. Uh, we're going to start in the Harmony tier. Uh, Minty Hippos and Karma picked up the buys, while Maelstrom took out Pacified Pythons 4-0. Being no glasses, Ski Free, is a terrible idea. <laughs> yeah, I, was, uh, I was thinking that same thing. You've been looking like this. Uh, vitamin C time. takes down Jetpack Cats 4-0. Oh, Holy Jalapenos takes Undead Battery 3-1. Uh, Comets and Boop in a heck of a match. Comet to take the 3-2 win. Uh, then we... Then we have uh, Fighting Potatoes taking out DDoS. DDoS took the 4-0 victory. And last but not least, again, we've already covered it, the Illusion 3-2 victory over the Careless Pandas. A heck of a match. Watch that VOD back. Very fun match. Uh, going back over to the Discord tier then, uh, we had a, uh, the usual slate of Discord tier buys, <laughs> uh, unfortunately, uh, including the ever-incredible match between the Aimbots and Frantic Lava Cats. Uh, from that could have gone either way. Mm -hmm. I think it could have. Mm -hmm. It actually ended in so a draw close. because the both teams were playing so well. That was so close. Yeah, that they just decided to award a draw. I'm pretty sure Jeff Kaplan started crying during it because it was so impressive. Uh, but in reality, folks, uh, <laughs> Invictus took uh, take or Invictus falls to Eclipse three uh, one. We see Mitt taking out Harmony and Chaos four to zero. Prodigious picks up the buy win. Uh, Insulak picks up the buy win. Tough Luck takes out Envious yeah. Gaming four zero and one last ride with the four zero over Renovadio. Uh, so kind of a bit of an off balance. They're seeing a lot of just it's a little bit chaotic near the end of the season. I think we can all just agree. Where's the playoffs? Bring us some playoff oh, matches, guys. Yeah, I just man. want them right now. Uh, but any surprises standing up for you? Let's start with NPC. I don't know about any surprises. Everything kind of shook down the way I, I kind of thought it would. Uh, the, the big one though, that really gets my attention is, is the illusion careless pandas match. I mean, just the, the almost reverse sweep getting as close as it can possibly get just really great gameplay all around uh just you know one team being dominated for a while and then making a triumphant comeback and then and then just it's just it was it was nuts it was really nuts it was a lot closer than i thought it was going to be just playoff playoff level mm -hmm. track that's mm -hmm. what it felt like uh mm -hmm. nick anything standing out for me uh i kind of agree with npc um you know a lot of it was played out the way it kind of was supposed to play out I scripted, not scripted, by the way. It, it, we're not, no, absolutely not. Um, we only reveal that at the beginning of season four. <laughs> um, but for me, I was expecting the Invictus boys to put up a little bit more of a fight um, against Eclipse. Um, but other than that, everything else kind of just fell where it was supposed to fall. What do you think, Thug? Um, to be honest, the biggest, I want to say surprise for me, but in a in a show of even more domination, I don't know if Vitamin C could look any better, but they they won the first map of their when uh, Jen's Jetpack Cats five six, like legitimately not like oh we got a thrower guys it's five v like legitimately five v six, mm -hmm. and it was still domination. I know I, most of their maps are five v six because of Chimanzi, so. Um, right, so four v six. Yeah, so four v four v six. I know that's the incredible. But yeah, it's it's the the rich get richer there, man. That team is poopy. What do you think, Sp Specs? Yeah, they they legitimately won village a hundred to zero with five players. But uh, we'll we'll leave that one there. Um, for me, it it was uh it was Invictus. I I really expected them to have a little bit more fight in them. Um, to me, at this point, they're just gonna roll over and and kind of collapse the rest of the season. So. Interesting. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. So that is some of the checks for or some of the surprises for week thirteen. Two weeks left in the season, and now we have week thirteen comms check. Thanks again to Imperse. Everybody enjoy. Get you one. Get you one. Nice.
I got more in your coat. Uh, Reaper's coming yeah, back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna sleep. Thank you for listening to my call. You're welcome. I have Creeper ult. Creeper ult? Ah, there's Reaper! <laughs> Reaper stuff, right? Yo, we bongo bought them fast and then just put Matrix anywhere near the Reaper to get Wait, can, can we sing Country Road for this last fight, please? No. Oh, dang it. Shut the fuck talking. up. Oh my god. Alright, guys, 30 seconds. 3, 2, 1, hockey practice. Yeah, Going, going, going. Catch your best, 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 that was so bad. <laughs> Thank you, dude. Oh, you won't even touch me. Oh, okay. Oh, they're locking the legs. Holy shit, dude. I want those thighs in my face. Yeah, no, just you see, I click made it. <sighs> I'm sorry, my default is just. What's that? It. Are you no, okay? He's on I'm coke, a, bro. It's okay. It's okay. Let me clean my, my nose. Oh, God, dude. It's not dude, <laughs> it's not first it was saying. <laughs> He's cleansing himself of all impurities. Like, cleansing. So that he can carry it. <laughs> <laughs> He's cleansing himself. <laughs> I'm just gonna pop their TP in here one sec. Walling bashing up. Bash, 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 Soldier, soldier, soldier. Hold it one. Right, no, 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 no. Split, split, split. One more second. Yeah. Nice. Good nice. oh, job, guys. Oh. Man, we gotta stop doing these game fights, man. I just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got homework. Fuck it, hey. Oh fuck, my shield didn't come out, bro. What the fuck? Bongo, 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 matrix, bongo, matrix, bongo, matrix. Please. I belong! <laughs> okay, alright, 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 reset, reset. Thanks again, Imperse, for submitting that. Again, please make sure you guys are getting your clips over to Imperse so he can put those together. He's having a lot of fun doing it. We got two more weeks of comms checks to go, guys. Oh. So if y'all think you're really funny in your Twitch, maybe you want to send something over to him. Big love to Imperse. Those are, I know he puts a lot of work into them. Yeah, they're really great. He really those does. Are, those are hilarious. Really fun, man. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun pulling those together. Uh, we're going to move into our next segment here, and that's something you guys all voted on. Uh, that's something that was announced earlier or at the end of last week. It is our uh, team superlatives. A lot of people ask me, what the hell is a superlative? Superlatives are pretty straightforward, guys. You know when you yearbook, <laughs> when you say something's most likely to succeed or most likely to be uh, in charge of a gaming community at age 35? <laughs> that's basically what these superlatives are. So that's kind of the goal here is just kind of figuring out, hey, where do teams stack up? Where do people see uh, these guys coming at this point in the season? Some of them are a little bit more fun. Some of them are a little bit more serious. We wanted to get your guys' takes on that. So we're going to have a little discussion on that and reveal the results today. We're going to start in the Harmony tier. The Harmony tier, we're going to do first and foremost, the big one. Who is most likely to win the championship? And I think a lot of people may not be surprised by this. But... The Harmony tiered, most likely to be champ. Tied for second was the Holy Jalapenos and Maelstrom, both at 10% of the vote, and Vitamin C with the massive lion share of the vote at 57%. Perhaps not a shock there. Uh, guys, I have to get some takes here from the panel. I want to hear from Thug first. Duh. I said it in my, my <laughs> recap is... They beat Jetpack Cats one map five v six. They're they are they are so dominant. And they seem to be keep rotating players in and out of their team as as kind of the season goes on. But they're still so so solid. As much as I meme on Capital, him and Sushi are one of if not the strongest support duo in the Harmony tier, and and it's 
it's not even close, man. Uh, yeah, it's it's those two. And and the other, to be fair, Mel, Maelstrom and Holy Jalapenos are probably two of the other teams I think contend for. I mean, anyone could, but it's vitamin C to lose at this point. Yeah, vitamin C has shown no signs of weakness all season. Nick, what do you think? I mean, the safe bet is obviously vitamin C. Um, you know, undefeated for a reason. Um, I do think Holy Jalapenos can do it. But a dark horse that I can see really making a push hard is Undead Batteries. They've shown us what they can do these last few weeks, um, and I can definitely see them making uh, making a solid push for that championship. All right, championship contenders indeed, all around guys. Uh, but let's talk about now which teams maybe we're not talking about. Which teams are the teams that are most likely to make a surprise run in the playoffs? see what the t- community voted on here in the harmony tier first is undead battery with 12.8 percent of the vote second ddos 19.1 percent of the vote and first is careless pandas 21.3 percent of the vote interesting results here pretty split overall there was a lot yeah. of teams that was picked here I-, I have to hear from you guys first let's start with npc uh nick nick kind of stepped on my lines here but i was gonna say undead batteries for sure i feel like they're they're the team that's gonna come back uh we we make jokes about them being basically the the tough luck of the harmony tier that they're gonna lose and they're gonna turn on each other and yeah okay they've got some big personalities but the truth is that kind of makes them stronger in a lot of ways and uh it drives them to be better and I feel like I feel like they they could do it. Um, you know, maybe they're not quite as good as vitamin C right now, but you catch the right team on the right day, it might might happen. What do you think, Specs? Careless pandas, isn't it? Do they do they make a run in the playoffs? Absolutely. I think if they're coming in as a tenth seed, they they win their first game and upset you know whoever the seventh seed's going to be. Um, then they play Maelstrom, and I think that gets a little bit dicey for them. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with what MPC and Nick were saying there. I, I think it's definitely undead battery. Um, you know, out, outside of that, DDoS isn't a bad pick either. Um, I'm also kind of surprised Karma's not on that list, but I know they're going through a lot of a lot of changes right now. They're, so. they're in a weird spot. They're like just below like the the top three, top four, but then like it's not a surprise if they make a run. Karma's mm-hmm. in a weird like in a weird flux spot that it's like. I mean, I expect them to do well. They're not the dominant team, and it's not a surprise if they do well. They're kind of in a yeah average, it's very like, average. It's like the <laughs> got him. <laughs> so average. So average. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it's a very accurate statement you were saying. It reminds me somebody compared us to Solo Cup last season. A team that not a lot of people thought would win at all, but a team that was like always a big threat, like a big threat. But no, they're not winning at all. That's kind they of won games though. Hmm? Solo Cup won games. So did mm. we. We're fourth place in the standings, boy. <laughs> all right. Anyways, move it on. Move it on. I could, I could, I could circle jerk my team all I want. I could do that in my own time. Uh, all right. Call teams me most. For that. I know I will uh, most likely to be upset in the playoffs. This one was an interesting one. Be a little divisive, a little controversial, a little toxic, perhaps. Oh no! I can, no! I can see the, I can see the top three, one already. Karma at twelve point five percent. Number two, vitamin C sixteen point seven percent. Here it is. And number one, Maelstrom Oof. at twenty nine point two percent. This one, I think, a tough comes one, as a bit of a surprise. I don't know if many people looked at this and saw the same thing, but I'm kind of curious what you guys think. Thug, what do you think of this? This is an interesting one. Um, I know Nick likely thought it was him. Yeah, I'm sure Just he did. Judging by his reaction. <laughs> uh, but for the record, I... uh, Illusion was sixth. A lot of people I... have faith in Illusion. I feel like it's illusion. Um, <laughs> sorry, Nick. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it's one of those. So did I. Illusion is one of those teams that when they look, when they they look, this is gonna sound like the most John Madden of all comments. When they look good, they look good. 
God. When they look bad, they look really bad. And okay, I, uh, John Madden is a is a football sports announcer. Oh yeah, sorry. From the past, if you don't know, <laughs> the the football game yes. is named sorry, after him. Right, uh, yeah. and football but is the game with the, the brown, game, yeah. the yeah, the one with the brown like egg looking game, thing. Yes, so hand like, hand 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 egg. Yes, it's like hand it's hand like hand. Hey Arnold's head. That one. Right. Yeah, mm-hmm. got this, it. That one's for the Zoomers. Uh, yep. All right, sorry Zoomers. Uh, but yeah, I feel I feel like it's illusion. It's one of those ones that if they don't, you get either really really good or really really bad. There's no middle ground. They can't. I mean, this one against Careless Pandas, you, you almost lost that one, and there was no reason you should have. You guys absolutely dominated the first two, and then just kind of shit the bed. So that's 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 my humble opinion. Sorry, Nick. I love you. Bye. So, Nick, defend your honor. What do you think? I I, I can't. <coughs> I I'm gonna be fully honest. If there's one team that's going to get upset, it, it's going to be us. Oh, Jesus. Wow. Shit. <laughs> spicy. Oh, wow. Spi- you asked for spice. I'm bringing the spice. We have to do better ourselves at prepping properly. Okay. And that's what our biggest takeaway is. That's the attitude that makes you win, though. So, I, I... Maelstrom's the right answer here. Let's be honest. It's 100% the right answer. So... All you do is speak speak in absolutes. Well, so I, I mean, it's what I do. But I know. like <laughs> lo- looking at it here, like Maelstrom, they're gonna play the way if the season were to end today, they're yeah. gonna play either Careless Pandas or Jetpack Cats, and then they're gonna play, or yeah, they would play Careless Pandas, Jetpack Cats, and yeah. then they're gonna play Illusion, and I see them losing to both of them, to be honest. So wow, big. Wow. wow! Wow! Owen Wilson is not. Er, Owen Wilson <laughs> is impressed. All right. Wow. Let's let's move it on now, guys. Here uh, we go. Something a little bit more wholesome, perhaps. Uh, what team did the community vote had the best DPS line uh, in the Harmony <laughs> tier? So to come in at number three, we have. Or I'm sorry, tied for second actually is Illusion and Holy Jalapenos at 17, percent and number one, just ahead of the other two, is Maelstrom interesting here guys i don't know yet um i i love triage uh iconic appears to be doing well right now maybe too early to tell on iconic i don't know guys what do you what do you guys think here let's start with, let's start with uh npc um you know I, I think i think i'm kind of in the same boat you are uh triage definitely great ruru of course made a name for himself right there but you know, their DPS line is still very new and saying that it's better than all the others. Maybe give it time. Sure. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can yeah. see that happening. Um, you know, I almost put uh, I, I almost put down uh, Holy Jalapenos for my pick, too. Uh, but really, I, I wanted I wanted to go Polar and Chimanzi. Uh just after seeing last Sunday's feature match. Chimanzi showing up and popping off every single play. I'm not just saying that because Polar subscribed to my Twitch channel. Love you, dude. Thanks so much. But I'm just saying that. Uh, Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, Twitch Prime sub. But uh, I don't know. I just um, I, I I feel like that that particular duo they enable each other. Sure. And uh, Polar enables Chimanzi a little bit more than the other way around. But uh, I, I see that as being a duo right now. What do you think here, Thug? <sighs> or actually, I'm sorry. So it goes to Specs actually. I'm oh, sorry. Fine. I misspoke. I'm sorry. I don't get to talk this time. So did I just talk shit on Maelstrom? Yes. Yes. Is this correct, though? <laughs> yeah, it actually is. Um, I, I think they have the best DPS line. Um, I'm surprised vitamin C isn't right there with them. But to me, yeah, they absolutely have the best DPS line. Do you think a part of the reason why vitamin C isn't right there is because of the changes they've had? Do you think it's a perception about their team? Do you, what do you think the reason is that vitamin C is not there? It's the Tom Brady and, and LeBron James MVP syndrome there. Mm-hmm. They're all just collectively so good that like you look for something else to be number one there. That's an interesting take. Interesting take. I get that. Yeah. Well, are you cosplaying as like are you like is your is your Halloween costume someone that's nice? I don't understand the specs. I don't like when you say this kind of stuff. Can, just good, say good, something bad. Say something mean yeah. about Mix ready, Quick. and then we'll feel better. Say something twice if you're in danger. About Mix, he's a manlet. Like, what else is there to, to <laughs> oh. go with there? <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Uh, <laughs> hey, wait, hey, wait. 
<laughs> All right. Uh, mix in chat. Love you, buddy. Um, I'm just going to quickly chime in here with my own opinion on this. Uh, Low key and PDK kid actually, uh, or somebody actually talked about it in chat. Um, but PDK kid and Buff Llama from DDoS is actually a really sneaky good DPS line. Uh, Buff Llama was a really good midseason pickup. Uh, DDoS, obviously, with the big win they've had uh, recently over Holy Jalapeno, stands out to me. Nice. It's a good picks. Good picks. Did you guys know on Buff Llama, Teal Cowboys? Really? You yeah. Teal Cowboys? Yeah, I asked him. Oh, my wow. God. I know. I'm so right. sorry, dude. <laughs> They're coming back. Season four. Teal Cowboys are returning, everyone. Oh, no. I don't know if that's a good thing. It's going to get real shady around here. <laughs> um, oh, shit. <laughs> all right. Let's move on. Team with the best support line in the Harmony tier, guys. Let's take a look at what this community vote was. Coming in, a tie for third is Jetpack Cats and Maelstrom. Tied for first is Karma and Vitamin C. I would like to point out at this point, Karma currently has one rostered support. That is Cryogenics. That's all you need. <laughs> Vitamin C. I mean... <laughs> so it's basically Cryogenics 1v2 against Sushi and Capital. Uh, honestly, don't know who would come out ahead there, but... Uh, you know, I mean, Capital would finally yeet his way into the rivers on Rialto, and Sushi would be so busy trying to clean up the mess in Discord that I don't know if he's going to be able to take care of it. So, what do you guys think? Uh, start with Thug. Um, I don't like to do this, but toot toot, are y'all dumb? <laughs> Mix, I mean, as much as we make fun of this kid, Throws. Mix and your teammate are a top support duo. No doubt. Teammate's brain is incredibly massive. Um, I've seen it in person. It's let me tell you what. Um, they are a fantastic support duo. They don't have between the two of them, there's not a support combo that doesn't work. And I watch some VODs, people. Watch some VODs. <laughs> Nick, what do you think? Thug is raging. How do you feel? <laughs> I um I agree with Thug. Goddamn right he does. As much Preaching as you not after that speech. Preach, brother, preach. Exactly. As as much as he ripped into my team, I still agree with you, Thug. <laughs> but I think I think vitamin C does still have like I the number one. That's totally the number right. one tank. Uh, Minus support, cap right? capital's a dickhead, but whatever. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some real talk at y'all. Uh I think Cryogenics paired with a mailbox is a better support duo than half the teams in the community. Yeah, or a sentient monkey playing loose or playing like uh, Baptista Lucia or something. Yeah, like honestly, I I don't I don't. Yeah, I'm just saying. Uh, that said, I, I I do think DDoS also same boat. Uh, your teammate is probably one of the most underrated players in the community. Uh, Mix, oh, yeah. Mix is super talented, uh, but I truly think that your teammate is one of the legitimately one of the most undervalued players in the entire community. Uh, yep. Not just in harmony tier, like quantifying the underratedness in a score, mm -hmm. definitely. So, um, <laughs> uh, moving on then here, uh, yeah, sentient monkey is not the right word I was looking for there. You know what I was trying to get at? Just, just go with the joke, exhaust. Yeah, yeah, I, I think yeah, all exhaust, monkeys are sentient. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know. No, you're you're right. You're right. I was thinking like, <laughs> like a you could, you could like put one of those drinky drinky birds down playing Baptiste and it'd be fine. I so, like drinky, drinky, bird, drinky right? bird. Yeah, okay. I like it's better. Yeah, that works better. Good joke. Good joke. Good joke. <laughs> <Lol>. Self high five. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Next on the list is Tank Line NPC. You're gonna start us off here, but I want to reveal the results for first because that makes sense. Uh, best team with Tank Line. We had a three way tie for third Whoa. between Maelstrom, DDoS, and Careless Pandas. Second, Vitamin C, and first, Undead Battery. Wow interesting results That's... here npc no comments you're the best tier you're the best tank in the harmony tier in mid-season that's How, true this, the that's disrespect true. is real um undead battery get a lot because really like half their roster is tanks <laughs> uh, i mean it's true um so i i can see that i can see that because they have a tank they have a, a person for every role they have a person for every tank role they need to play um i can see that my actual personal pick here was maelstrom uh, you know, I, I look at, you know, as a tank player, I look at tanks that I'm afraid of, and I see Crispy, Mountainfall, and Nagisa. And Crispy gets a lot of credit for being the main tank. You know, he he gets he gets a lot of the focus, but really, Mountainfall does a lot of work on that team. He's very overlooked. 
and he's like the last to die in every team fight. He's, you know, it's, he's really good at, at positioning and playing smart. Uh, maybe not quite as fast and loose as Crispy, but he's, he plays smart. Uh, and uh, Nagisa, once, once Diva comes back into the meta, she's going to be a lot stronger. Um, but I, I just, I see those three, and I, I think that's a really strong tank line right there. Specs, what do you think? Yeah, no, I, I think this is, this is another just Tom Brady, LeBron James syndrome. It, it's, the answer here is, is vitamin C, if we're completely honest. Um, but I think Undead to Battery are a very close second and give them a run for their money there. Um, Teractin is a huge pickup, and I, I think that's, to me, the, the biggest contributor there. Right. Uh, yep. I'll go ahead and say that I think Noramak is not just one of the best tanks in the Harmony tier. I think he's one of the best players <laughs> in the Harmony tier. Um, yeah. I think his impact on vitamin C from just a raw skill aspect is what one thing that makes that team flow. So, for sure. Part of that team. So What's last that? but not least, something for fun. Which team would you most like to hang out with in real life? Maybe get a drink, throw some axes or something. Easy. You know? This one, one easy Harmony game. Tier, a lot of people laughed when I brought this up because it's like easy peasy. Easy. The votes were close. And third was Karma. Oh, 10.6%. Second, Maelstrom, 12.8%. And in first, the Fighting Potatoes at 29.8%. Bug, what do you think here? Duh. As somebody that's hung out with them a couple times, that's the right answer. It's a group of people that want to have fun, and that's their number one priority. And, and I look at a team that that has had their struggles through the entire like history this of this this community, and they still come back and they still have fun. They're always super good sports. They GG. They have fun. They enjoy it. They banter. They they. It's never mean spirited, except behind closed doors, and they're assholes. Trust me. Um, don't get into an axe throwing contest with Wes. I'll tell you what. Um, but that that that's a group of people that understand what this community is about, and they don't take it seriously to the point that it. They're all real friends, like real life friends, and they don't let it get to the point where it ruins their friendship. So, uh, Nick, what do you think? I agree with the list. I also think uh, DDoS. Might have a spot on that list too. Um, I would probably have it some kind of some kind of three way tie for second place, and then have fighting potatoes first. Um, I also want to throw illusion on that list personally. Yeah, I may hate on illusion, but y'all are cool people. So saying, everybody but Aww. Nick. Everybody, yeah, but not Nick. Well, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. <laughs> so I, I had to bring it back. I had to bring it back. I couldn't. I couldn't. Actually. It wouldn't be the iris without it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nick. All right, let's go to the Discord tier, guys. Uh, we're gonna go now into uh, back to, again. Most likely to win the championship in the Discord tier. The results here honestly shocked me. Legitimately shocked me. And I have to say, I think there might be some bitter resentment about these that led to these results that Super Bowl Tom Brady syndrome mm-hmm. definitely a thing here because genuinely this was really surprising coming in at third one last ride with 4% meteors with 9% and commit with 86.4% <laughs> of the vote <laughs> you so debated I was, us I was kidding it's not a surprise you debated hard um I was ready to be outraged. Not gonna lie, like my outrage um, meter was pumping. Yeti, the king of the king of the clickbait. Yeah, bring in the yeah the results. Four out of five doctors hate this. Um, NPC, what are your thoughts here? Um, I, I yeah, I mean that's the obvious answer right there. I mean we all expect the finals to basically be meteors and commit rematch. Um, I personally. I, I maybe it's the Tom Brady syndrome, but I wrote down meteors. I, I I feel like the right team on the right day. Not only are they my affiliate team, so I'm a tied bit biased, but I I just I don't know. I kind of I kind of want to see him take down the king. You know, mm, I feel. Spe- uh, specs, what do you think? Oh, here we go, boys. So uh, target hasn't been growing. So let's let's get it here. Um, commit will not go undefeated and win the championship. One of the two will happen. They will either go undefeated. Or they will either win the championship. So if they lose to one last ride this week, they will win the championship. I mean, they're not going to lose to one last ride. One last ride's dead. Um, there's no <laughs> way they absolutely win the title here. They're they're done. Um, 
You okay yeah. with it, Thug? No. Sorry, he's boring me with this huh? take. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. I'm sorry. Uh, got him. <laughs> but the answer to this question is correct. They are most likely to win it. So, yeah. Uh, all right, all right. Let's move on now. Most likely to make a surprise playoff run. The answer to this can't be commit. Um, <laughs> what is this? It's not. Thankfully. <laughs> If it was, I would have just... Surprise! Yeah, surprise. <laughs> uh, coming in, uh, we had actually a four-way tie for se for second here. So Tough Luck, Alt F4, Harmony and Chaos, and Instaluck, all at about 11%, with Eclipse being the number one team here at 25.6%. Interesting stuff here, guys. There was a crazy, crazy cluster of votes, and then Eclipse shooting above everybody else. Thug, what do you think here? I... I, I, for me, it's meteors only because Eclipse is that far and away. Not Eclipse, I'm sorry. Commit is that far and away the, the favorite. So literally any of the teams is the right answer. If any of them jump up, yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, and the fact that almost everybody's getting in the playoffs, it could literally could be anybody that's still existing. I feel like um, a legitimate betting line will be commit or commit versus the field. This is like a Tiger Woods thing. Mm -hmm. Yes, this is Tiger, a Tiger Woods, Woods scenario. Yes. Legitimately, like, there's going to be One legitimate yesterday. discussions about that. Like, commit versus the field. Who will win? Like, that's, that's, that's a worthwhile discussion right now. I think right now, if you put that poll to the community, I think we'll see about 80% commit. Mm -hmm. It's going to be real with you there. So, anyways. Um, uh, Nick, what do you think? I think Instalock um, are top of that list. Um, they got they got some pretty solid pickups just recently. I know the polls I think were up before that was announced, but I think with those two pickups, they they've put themselves in a decent position to make a solid run. Yeah, much to Spex's disagreement. <laughs> My biggest disagreement with that is there's two teams there that legitimately aren't playoff teams yet. Harmony and Chaos and Alta Four can easily not make the playoffs. Like that's that's still a thing here. Alta Four has so. got two bye weeks though. I mean, they're, they're essentially. Alt F4 yeah. is locked. Alt F4 is yeah, effectively I mean, they're, they're, locked. Yeah, they're, oh, they're going to have to be some hard spoiler plays ahead of them to knock them out. But and I don't with think two bye weeks left, it's easy. Yeah, they're they're pretty much locked in. Um, yeah, it's it's surprise runs going to be interesting because I do feel like it's literally a commit versus the field scenario. I really do. Uh, let's go to the upsets though. Most likely to be upset. Number three, tough luck. Twenty one point four percent. Last ride, 23.8%. And then last but not least, Meteors topping the list at 28.6%. Community piling on Meteors a little bit here. Guys, I, I, interesting results. NPC, what do you think? I feel like, I feel like you know, that, that comes with the territory of being a favorite. Yep. Mm -hmm. Is that, you know, you're, you're, you're the second favorite. <laughs> and, you know, when you're the second favorite, you're going to get upset by the first favorite. You know, that's the way it works. Um, you know, I, I, I put, uh, I don't know. I mean, it's tough because I think we needed to define upset. My definition of upset was basically lose their very first match. Like they had a legit chance and then losing the very first playoff. match. And, uh, for me, the only team that's going to do that is tough luck. I mean, one loss and they are at each other's throats. They're just going to fold up <laughs> any minute now. Any minute now. <laughs> Any minute, guys. I promise you, tough luck is going to fold. Uh, Specs, is tough luck going to fold? Uh, you know, map record's still 16 and all on the team, soon to be 20 and all. So, you know what? No. But um, for, for me, yeah, it's Meteors. Um, people keep forgetting. One last ride is still ahead of them in the standings. Um, for now, at least, yes, you know, Meteors still have a game in hand currently. But Meteors, if. You know, everything were to end today, Meteors are playing Eclipse, and I think Eclipse has a better chance of upsetting Meteors than Invictus is beating one last ride. So to me, that that's it. So hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's very interesting. Agree to disagree. Yeah, well, we'll have to see how that goes down. Honestly, huh. it, Discord tier is in basically beyond commit. I feel like anything can happen at this point. I really do. So I it, it's it's interesting. I it's it's really going to be a Tiger Woods situation in the playoffs, and I think it's going to make for some very interesting scenarios. So, we'll see how it goes down here, guys. Um, let's get to something a little bit more fun. Best DPS line. Thug, uh, I'm going to want you to weigh in here in just a moment. Uh, best DPS in Discord tier. Number three, Instaluck. 
9.1%. Commit, 38 or 31.8%. And number one is Meteors at 43.2%. So we saw Instalock pick up a big pickup. Season 2 All-Star, Lays. Huge pickup for that team, pairing with Frosty. Uh, Meteors and overtaking Commit, though. What do you think, Thug? I... Uh... I, for me, it's it's. I struggled with them. Be honest with you, and meteors and commit were my two like big ones. But dude, it's got to be commit. They, they, you can't be this far and away the favorite to win everything and look this dominant without having the best DPS duo. And in this meta, man, a good DPS duo can absolutely shred other teams. So. It's it's it is commit. Community is incorrect. You're wrong. <laughs> wow, that's mean. And you should feel bad. Mean. The community is never wrong when it comes to voting stuff like this. I should know. I'm the best tank in harmony tier. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not wrong, folks. He's not wrong. Uh, <laughs> uh, Nick, what do you think? Is NPC uh, the best tank in harmony? No, just kidding. <laughs> he's 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 gonna roll us next week. Watch. Um, but yeah, how is commit leaps ahead of everyone else and you know being predicted to win, but behind meteors in the best DPS lineup? I I I don't get that. Meteors have good DPS players, but commit's just miles ahead. I don't even think Meteors is the second best DPS lineup. I'd take Ky luck, I'd take Kairos and Overnight Coder, and I think there's argument for taking uh for taking uh, Tough Luck here as well. Like Meteors is a great team, but it's not their DPS lineup does not make that team. It's the overall unit on that team that makes that team successful. I just I don't think their DPS carries them. Like the DPS is capable of carrying those other teams. So I actually think Instalock, as an, there's an argument you could make that Instalock has better DPS too. Depends on which DPS line is running. If Courage is playing DPS, then definitely yes, they're better. Yes. Um, <laughs> he hasn't since like week three though. He legitimately hasn't played DPS since like week three. He's one of the few he, people in the world that enjoys Orisa. Mm -hmm. So he loves it. I don't understand how that's a thing. I want to take a shower. Now. I know. Does anybody else feel gross? I feel gross. Um, just just I, take a shirt off. It's I will say I do feel like we do over underrate J Vice. But it's an interesting. There's a lot of really talented DPS in the harm in the Discord tier. Super right. talented DPS out there. Um, you look at Eclipse with Rocket and uh, Red Gear. Like that's a good dual duo there. Then you go down to uh, you know teams like uh, you know we already talked about Tough Luck, you know, a team that definitely has some standout DPS. There's some really talented DPS duos out there in the Discord. Um, For real. Yo, Instalock. Uh, oh no, no, I'm sorry, not Instalock. Invictus. They have Mel oh, they have melts. Um, moving on then. Uh, yeah, they don't. They don't deserve any spot on that list. <laughs> uh, oh, let's go to. No. <laughs> let's go to support line here, guys. Uh, supports we have coming in in third. Tough luck with six point eight percent of the vote. Meteors thirty one point eight, and then commit at the top. Again, commit at the top and a surprising vote. Um, what do you think here, guys? I, I've got I've got no problems with this list, really. I mean, you know, we're going to see commit at the top of every single one of these. And, you know, Tom Brady syndrome, I'm kind of sick of it. Um, <laughs> you know, I'm not, not going to lie. Uh, you know, the, the team, I think a team that needs to be up here is one last ride. OK, I look at Mata Tata Tat. I look at Unkempt. I look Excuse at the Bagel. You know, I think I think you know that's that's a pretty good support team right there. Um, you know, watching their games and watching their vods, one last ride. That's I feel like their support line is kind of the reason that they're they are where they are. Mm -hmm. uh, Specs, what do you think? The bagel plays tank, by the way. Does he? And yes, he does. Ooh, he flexes. I... He's a flex. Okay. He's a flex god. <laughs> okay. Um, meteors. Meteors? Arise, dude. Arise. I'm higher, I'm higher SR than him. What does that say? What does SR That says you're boosted. God, that you're says, such that says an you're SR boosted. Whore. You that are such an SR whore. That says you're boosted. No, I, I, <laughs> I think Arise is great, but if you're going to compare flex supports, Arise and Veets are on the same level. Um, yes, commits number one. We're arguing for number two. 
but Horizon Vites are on the same level. It's the rest of the support line there that I'll we'll, we'll, we'll leave it there. So tough luck is an eighth. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, I I I I think one last ride again deserves a look at this. Um, yeah, uh, I also think Invictus's support line sneaky good. Mm-hmm. Uh, smirk i mean i feel like if anna was meta invictus would be a better team because of smirk's Ana play mm-hmm. but unfortunately anna, unfortunately anna is not meta and therefore smirk is nothing but a liability <laughs> I, I kid um <laughs> uh next on the list tanks on number three one last ride 6.8 percent of the vote massive vote wins Meteors, 22.7, and in a shock to no one, commit 65.9. The yawns overtake the the panel here today. Uh, Thug, what do you think here? Yeah, so let's 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 argue number two. Um, because commit, I mean they are. It's it's it when I did this too, I was like, commit, commit, commit. All right, next. It's just the team is just that much better than everybody, and it's it's hard. And it's again. As a collective, they all look stronger because they all support each other, like you're supposed to do in Overwatch. Mm-hmm. Um, Wait, but you're supposed sh- to what? It's new. It's a new thing. Yeah. But I'm okay. plat. Don't worry. I'm plat. Don't worry. Listen to me. Okay. Um, but don't let, we don't have good opinions about Overwatch and plat. It's true. Um, there's 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 tough luck, and mainly because of Kingdom. I Kingdom is not only one of my favorite people. Uh, he's a phenomenal Overwatch player that. I think it's I don't want to say overlooked a lot because he's a large human and it's hard to overlook the dude. But absolute unit. Beautiful beautiful singer, great mm-hmm. rapper. Mm-hmm. Um underrated, you would say. Underrated. Mind you all, season 2 MVP third place, mm-hmm. best off tank. I don't I don't think you can argue Kingdom's overrated or underrated, I mean. That's for damn sure. This um, season I should say. This season. The, I, I would say Tough Luck's tank line gets deserves more consideration. I think the meta is hurting them a little bit. Yes. I, do. I think if we could see Kingdom back on the Zarya or the Diva, even the Roadhog, I think we'd be in a better situation. But part of the problem is is Sigma a lot of good Sigma players out there. A lot of good Arisas out there. But I feel like Kingdom's Diva and Zarya and Roadhog play kind of stood out. I think he's a better off tank. Um I think uh Real is a really good tank. Yep. So, um, I don't know. Tank line there is interesting. Uh, Nick, what do you think? I think that this list, these top three, do, don't really come as much as a surprise. Um, maybe you can argue swap out one last ride for Tough Luck, um, just because Kingdom is that good. Um, granted, meta issues, but. I think that the list pretty much speaks for itself. All right, let's move on off of tank, guys. The final question: Which of these teams would you like to grab a beer with? Starting off, or a soda pop for you Zoomers? Uh, tied for third is Commit and Alt F4, and then tied for first is Meteors and Tough Luck. I this t- is the only thing Commit's not going to win. I know, Shit. I know. Right? Uh, I'm honestly surprised they got third. I thought I expected more. Can we get some angry emotes in chat, please? Uh, I'm saying the word commit. That means we need angry emotes. Uh, so um, let's go to uh, NPC. What do you think? Um, you know what? I, I mean, I can kind of agree with this this list. Alta four, tough luck, meteors. I can see that. Uh, the the team I wrote down. It should come as no surprise. Is Eclipse. Uh, you know, I played with a lot of those guys last season on Gravity, Bubbers, Dim Tree. Uh, cryptic force. I guess we could, you know, meet up at a McDonald's and you know have some McFlurries if the machine's working. Um, you know, this... <laughs> yeah. Good right. luck with that one. <laughs> um, you know, so, I mean, I just I I, I talk to those guys a lot. Uh, another one. Uh, I don't know. We're talking Discord tier here, so I'm gonna keep that opinion to myself. But yeah, I think Eclipse Discord tier. All right, specs. Wrap us up here. We won something, boys. <laughs> we won it. <laughs> Claws out. Claws out. Oh god. Oh god, the claws. Uh, okay. I don't want to hang out with them anymore. Yeah, it's, defi- it's definitely <laughs> suddenly it's, I just my urge to hang out is it's like It's definitely not a lumberjack. Uh, it's definitely back to hipster now. So <sighs> <come on. sighs> 
Oh, yeah. get the claws out, boys. All right. On that note, uh, as you guys saw last week, I wasn't able to get a week 12's plays montage put together because of the fact that we had a meetup and I was very tired. Because meetups are tiring. C hungover. C, yeah. So hungover. Uh, so we're now we're going to show off the week 12 plays montage. Enjoy.
for and what this community is, his story is the example I use. So congratulations, Dirtables. It's absolutely well-deserved. Uh, legitimately the best thing to come out of Tranquility uh, on a player basis. Uh, since Killer smile, here. too. So. Killer smile. Oh, Good-looking yeah. guy. Oh, Good looking such guy. a cutie. Looking Just such some a pearly white. Jeez. Uh, so congrats, Nerdables, uh, on that uh, well, well-deserved uh, induct in, uh, induction into the Hall of Fame. Uh, again, your four inductees to the Hall of Fame's inaugural class will be revisiting this next season. That is Dunzo, Velzen, Orsted, and Nerdables. All four incredibly well deserved nominee or er, inductees. So, congratulations Cheers. to the four of you. Uh, you made uh, Tranquility successful and we're very much in debt to you. So, let's move on now. Uh, have a little bit more fun. Uh, it is time for the other plays montage because I did two. Uh, hey, hey, let's do the week 13 plays montage. All right. Uh, thanks again, everybody, for submitting those. I'd like to see some more plays in the next ones. We only got 12 apiece for this one. Let's maybe get back up to like that 20 we were at. That was pretty solid. I want to see that well, again. We have so many less Discord tier matches. It's really well, fun. okay. Discord tier teams stop <laughs> folding, I guess? <laughs> Question mark? Like, Wait! <laughs> just, just play. Just, just, just play, forehead. Just play, forehead. Jesus. All right. Uh, we're going to move into the award-winning prediction segment. Starting in the Harmony tier, we'll do the Tuesday kickoff match. Uh, this is between Maelstrom and Minty Hippos. Thug, what do you think here? Um, I'm going to give this one Minty Hippos. I think they got some new life uh, breathed, breathed. Words are hard. Um, they have new life, and <laughs> Maelstrom has literally nothing to play for. What do they have to play for? I mean, they're 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 not going to take over number one spot. They're going to be top four. They're getting a bye. It's coast time, baby. Uh, sorry, Nick, sandbagging. I'm so sorry. Nick, what do you think here? 
I think Thug's wrong. Uh, I think I think Maelstrom takes this. You know what? Sandbag mindset or not, Maelstrom's gonna take this. Careless Pandas versus DDoS NPC. What do you think? Uh, let me see. I think. I think. I think DDoS. I feel like DDoS. They they may have playoffs in the bag, but I think they need to seal the deal. I feel like DDoS can do this. It might be an upset pick, but I'm taking it. Uh, now, uh, Specs, what do you think? To me, this is the match of the week, both tiers. Um, I, I think this is is really... It, I, I'm interested to see this, but I have DDoS as well. I, I think it's going to be a 3-2 barn burner, though. Illusion taking on Comet. Specs, what do you think? I, sorry, Comet. It's, it's a 4-0. See you, boys. Now, Comets is, Comets is literally at death's door on the playoffs right now, just for the record. They are two wins back on multiple teams. They are behind by about 13 or 14 in map differential. If they lose a map, they cannot qualify for the playoffs. That said, I believe if Careless Pandas or Jetpack Cats win a map, they can't qualify for the playoffs. So a small miracle needs to occur for Comets to make the playoffs. They are not dead. But... They're hurting. So. Listen, uh, NPC, if the price is right. <laughs> wow, match fixing. That's interesting. Uh, Thug, what do you think here? I hear my kid yelling. That's fine. She's fine. Um, I Comets. Go Comets. Go Comets. Nothing gets you, you, Nick. Go Comets! I believe. I still believe. Uh, comets win this one easy 4-0. Um. <laughs> oh, yeah. And Thug is gone. Uh, is fighting potatoes taking on undead battery. Uh, NPC, what do you think here? Uh, fighting potatoes and undead battery? I gotta give it to the undead battery. Uh, I love the potatoes, I really do, but they're, they're the Shanghai Dragons. I love them, and I'm gonna cheer for them every chance I get, but I just don't see them winning. I'm not, gonna, I'm not, gonna, I'm not a brand. I'm not gonna bet on them every game until they finally win. Uh, Nick, what do you think? Potatoes battery. Um, I'm just gonna repeat exactly what NPC said. I'd love to cheer for them, and and you know, hope that they can win every game. Um, I just don't see this happening. Yeah, uh, it's not happening. <laughs> and no offense, I love the potatoes. This is all known, but no. So, uh, let's move on. Then next one is. Boop versus vitamin C. Yeah, lopsided standings matchup. What do we think for the results? NPC. You know what? Tom Brady scenario. Here it is. Boop. Boop. You're going to take it, buddies. How is I know, that the I Tom Brady scenario? Because I, I don't want to see vitamin C keep winning. Oh, I, got I it. Just, I want to see them take down the king. Bard, you got this? Alayla, do it. I've been playing with Shadow a lot. He can do it. Go get him. Uh, Specs, do you care to shatter some realities? <sighs> so, uh, there's a big problem with vitamin C, and it's, uh, their, their main support, also known as Capital, is picked up a coach who may or may not be on this podcast, who Fun. may or may not have a whiteboard. NPC? So he's and I'm teaching him. I'm teaching him the throw. So, Specs. because of that reason, <laughs> Boop is going to win this. So... I was, I was about to ask where you're going with this. Are you teaching him how to feed harder? So, yeah, I mean, it's so hard, especially with, like, just look at his gameplay to begin with. It's very hard to make him feed more, but, like, right. you got to start the position in their back line. That's how to... So, just to confirm, you are coaching someone. No, Zuby coaches me, and Zuby coaches Capital. So, by proxy, I coach him. I'm just a better Capital. What? It's a triangle. Let's move on. Yeah. Yep, so that, that was confusing. Um, <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, if vitamin C doesn't win this one, I will eat a beer can on a podcast next week. Vitamin uh, C. Oh, now vitamin C. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Jetpack cats taking on pacified python. Uh, Thug, what do you think here? Pythons. Um. Jetpack cats are all over the freaking place. I'm not sure where priorities are or where 
head spaces are at, but this is an Overwatch community. Um, play Overwatch. I see I see Pythons banded together. This is what I'll gotta do. Go Pythons. Nick, what do you think? I think Pythons take it. I think for the Pythons, these last two weeks are gonna be um kind of like a turnaround saying like, you know what, we can make these ones go into next season strong. But I think I think these next two weeks are gonna be are gonna be big for them, and I think they take this one easy for them. You notice they seem to already be prepping for the future as a team. I don't know if you noticed their Twitter activity lately. Yep. They've been talking. There's been some They've serious been talk going on. So we'll see what happens with uh, Pacified Pythons moving forward here. But I have a feeling this is not the last we've heard of them. <laughs> yeah. No, so, I, I mean, you got to hand it to the Pythons. They have, yes. like, the worst SR differential of, of any team in Harmony tier. And they're still here. They're still playing. That that puts them head and shoulders above teams that, you know, disbanded at, you know, and really... Nobody would have blamed the Pythons if they disbanded. No, you know, week yeah. three. But I mean, they, they, Pythons, they did no. technically disband and then reform, disband, reform. Yeah, like it's not changed. even. It's not even like the SR differential. Like SR, it's a number at the end of the yeah. day. It, yeah, it's sure. really the amount of restructuring that, that that team or that org, if that's what we want to call it, has gone through, and they've managed to stick by it. Mm -hmm. That to me just says a lot about their leadership. Moving Frosty. Forward. It says a lot about the character. I think mm -hmm. you know, absolutely looking at all the teams folding and it's not necessarily that these teams lacked character, but like there was a never say die attitude, you know, mm -hmm. and I have tons of respect for that. And it's just, it's completely fair. Like, you know, I think a lot of people memed on pacified pythons early on this season and, and honestly, justifiably. So they, they dropped, I think they had 14 roster transactions in three weeks. Yep. Like, they did. It's really true. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just, we memed the hell out of them, but Look at them now. Have they had a roster transaction in the past seven weeks? N no. Nope. They're playing yeah, together. No. They're trying to get better together. It embodies what this community is about. So yep. kudos to Frosty yep. within that team together. You can't. We're, we're not going to be talking about them much anymore just because we're coming to the end of the season and they're not going to make the playoffs. But kudos to them for sticking it out. That, 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 there's, that deserves Absolutely. so much respect when all these other teams just decided to hang it up because it was too much work. Like, And there are other teams who had legitimate reasons, but... Other teams just hanging it up because they just thought, oh, this is exhausting. Well, like, Pacified Pythons, good job. Yeah. So, uh, moving on now, Discord tier, Invictus, Harmony, and Chaos. Uh, Thug, what do you think? Um, I think this is Invictus's opportunity to, to re, to find their legs again. Um, Harmony and Chaos, though, is, is not going to be an easy out. They still have a chance, technically. They're fighting, they're clawing. Cav will most likely be in the nude, drunk, playing. So watch out, Invictus. He'll find you. Is that different? Yeah, there's nothing. That's, so that's a. Uh, sorry, game. sorry. With camera on stream. Oh, nice. Oh, hey. all right. Uh, Get your uh, Twitch Prime subs ready, Nick. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> this is where this wait in your monologue. Well, should I say it? I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'll shit. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't think. I think they're all in scrims right now, so I think we're okay. I don't think. I don't think they go back to watch the. They're VOD. definitely not going to watch this vod. No, I think they lose it. The reason being is that they're still restructuring their tank players. I think you're right. I think Harmony wins this one too. Uh. <laughs> Meteor is taking on Prodigious. Prodigious is desperately clawing for that one of those final playoff spots. Meteors one of their first matches in like five weeks. Uh, NPC, what do you think? This is this one's a tough one. Uh, I mean, Meteors don't really need it. You know, they, they it may be garbage time for them. You know, not not practicing, not prepping. They've had all this time off. Maybe they all got lazy. You never know. They, they're all playing Fortnite season two or whatever, and. You know, maybe prodigious are hungry. Prodigious need it, but also maybe the meteors need it too. Maybe the meteors, they, all this time off, they've just been dying to play some Overwatch, and now they're finally back. And they're gonna, they're gonna click some heads. It could be either way. I got meteors just based on, you know, map differential and previous record, but it could go either way. Hey, hey NPC. Max, mm -hmm. what do you think? Then the match ended thirty minutes ago, bud. Ooh. It was a four, it was ah. a four L. Nice. Spoilers. <laughs> nice. Spoiler place. 
Week 14 match in the books. Meteors win 4-0 over Prodigious. Um, okay. Well, yeah. see? There you go. I, I called it. He, he called it. I could. I should. I should have just watched that match and been like, "Ah, four zero, easy." <laughs> but so, no, I wanted to do this with with honor. <laughs> we were doing it the honor thing. I can respect <laughs> this. All right, uh, Red of Audio taking on Tough Luck Thug. What do you think? Um, I'm gonna give this one Tough Luck. Uh, Red of Audio is kind of a mess right now. They're all over the place. Um, in spite of the largest handicap Tough Luck has ever had. Um. Smugs is actually going to be playing mouse with his left hand, and he's going to be using um, your uh, JKIL. So he's he's going to flop it. That's the biggest handicap. And Specs is on the team, so unlucky. <laughs> Nick, what do you think? Tough luck. Simple as that. I don't think Ren of Audio has what it takes to take tough luck. I mean, here's my thing. If tough luck loses one map, uh, NPC, what's going to happen? They're they're gonna they're gonna collapse. They're all gonna turn on each other. They're gonna blame each other, and they're all gonna quit. And they're gonna have to forfeit all the wins that they've had in the past. That's what's gonna happen. It's close. any minute now. Any it's, minute. Now. It's close. It's gonna happen. All right, let's move on then. Uh, next one on the list here is Inslock taking on Infius Gaming. NPC, what do you think? Um, I got Instalock on this one. I mean, I. I looked at their tank lines and I looked at the DPS lines, but I think I think what Instalock has is a support line. Um, in uh, Juke, Sacred Walrus, I, I, I see them. I see them carrying that team through that victory. I think Instalock. What do you think here? Uh, yep, yep, specs. <laughs> I I think Invictus go. Th- it, it, very weird prediction. Invictus go or Infia. Sorry, they go Sounds three and zero. They, in, Infius go three and zero here. They go three weeks in a row with a C9 because they did it two weeks ago against one last ride. They did it last week with me. They do it again this week in Slot Ticket 4 0. C9. You hate to see it. C9. Wow. Uh, and finally, last but not least, is the feature match on Sunday. It is one of the most hotly anticipated matches of the season. We see Commit taking on one last ride. Huge match on Sunday, guys. Uh, let's get the entire panel. I'm going to start with NPC. Well, you know, the, the best tank line in the community by community vote is commit and the best DPS line and the best support line are all commit. I just, yeah, I, I see I'm winning. I, I really do. I see commit winning. I, I don't like it. I feel dirty. I need to take a shower, but I see him winning. Let me do it. What do you think specs? Hey, one last ride. Do you have a support line yet? Yikes, boys. 4 0, real easy. It, the game ends in under an hour wow. with a 10 minute half time. Uh, Nick, what do you think? It's a bold take that it ends in under an hour. Um, that being said, commit 4 0. Thug, what do you think? Commit 4 0. I don't know whatever gives you that idea. <laughs> it's it's it, it looks like 04 to me. It does. I will say commit wins 3 2. Why is it backwards? <laughs> <laughs> I will say commit wins this one 3 2. I think they do drop maps here. I think it's closer than you all expect. Mm-hmm. But I think so, commit so wins it. To get this right, Yeti. Commit this week. This week alone. They're going to lose the same amount of maps they lost all season so far. Who have they played? Everybody I mean, they, else. They, they, they haven't played tough, they haven't played tough luck. They Let's haven't played tough luck. They haven't played one last ride, and they played meteors on a handicap. Dude, tough luck drops one map. Like they're gonna explode. Like, NBC. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, no, honestly, like I mean, this is no offense against Commit. They won the matches they're supposed to win. They beat meteors on a handicap. The two toughest matches left this season since week two were week fourteen and fifteen. Mm-hmm. So they've won what they're supposed to win. Now let's see if they can win matches where there's actually a really good competitor against them. Like a really good competitor. Eclipse brought it a little bit. Invictus brought it a little bit. But these are teams that are at a much better spot. I expect them to bring it a lot harder. Yeah. So we'll see. I do think it's 3-2. I really do. I think One Last Ride has shown a tendency to just be absolutely clutch 
on a continuous basis all season. And I expect to see that same play again. Um, we'll see. The big week this week, guys. The features again. <laughs> Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> One last ride's gonna be commit, then Marf's gonna transfer. Yeah, I mean you that's fair. Yeah. Matt, Matt, probably. Uh again, the features this week in the Harmony Tier Tuesday, that's tomorrow, Maelstrom taking on Minty Hippos. And then again on Sunday, we have your commit versus one last ride match. It's gonna be an exciting week this week, guys. We're looking forward to next week. Next week we will be breaking down every single match, every single seeding situation that could possibly happen, and talking about just kind of where everything is finally shaking up. Playoffs are right here. It is time. It is here. Let's get hyped. Two weeks left to go. Lots of fun coming. NPC, Specs, Thug, Nick. Thanks, guys, for watching. We appreciate it. We will see you next week. Experience tranquility.